Hey, it's Matt. What do we have here today? I have a thrift haul for you that I got for 28 bucks. I think I have 10 bucks into the box and then some tools down on the mat here. I'll slide it up here, but let's get this box out of the way and take a look at it. New Britain Napa. Had some stickers on it. It's got some overspray on it, but I polished it up quickly right there and uh, this thing will polish up pretty, pretty dang good. So it has the tray in it not too dingy it's got a little bit of rust inside of the tray in the corner there but overall not too bad of a box should clean up nicely i can throw all of my new britain stuff in there so i thought that was pretty cool so i grabbed that snagged that up but let's get that out of here let's slide that let's take a look at the tools that i got with this so again 28 bucks with the box and all of this stuff Let's see if I did all right. Two Master Mechanic uh, USA sockets, 11 sixteenths and a 5 eighths. And then we have a Master Mechanic quarter inch drive, quarter inch, six point. A Stanley 3 eighths drive, Taiwan 3 eighths, six point. And we have two Ace Taiwan. We have a five millimeter and a four millimeter. And that's the newer style Ace, but why would I grab these? Well, in episode 74 or tool hall 74 i got this ace kit and i was missing the nine five and the four in that 10 millimeter well i got the four and the five here so this one is a little bit newer but i'm going to stick it in that set i'm going to hold out for that nine millimeter in the quarter inch drive and that 10 millimeter in the three ace drive and once i get those i'll have this full ace taiwan set and for whatever that's worth we'll get rid of it but just try to find homes for these sockets what else do we have? I think I have a KD 1130 seconds and a 4mm Cobalt USA. Focus. Yeah, Cobalt USA and a 4mm. So I snagged those up. All right, let's get to these wrenches. Some super wrenches. Williams. And they're both the same. 7 eighths, 3 quarter. Both the same amount of dinginess. But I figured I'd snag those up. And then a service wrench, three quarter. And then two Armstrong, three quarter service wrenches. This one's been sanded on or ground on. It looks pretty beat. I'll probably end up moving this one along the line. And I'll just hang on to this one. I don't think anybody's going to buy that. But we'll just keep that one in my collection here. All right, where should we go to next? Let's go down here. Another Armstrong Armalloy, pretty beat up. Has some stuff scribed in it but a five ace three quarter and whatever i whatever you know how it goes it was in my hand so i grabbed it two craftsmen 1930 second 11 sixteenths open and wrenches one is a vv and the other is a double line v with the barn a so i figured i'd snag on those and then we have this Williams, which is kind of a confusing wrench. It has the W in the diamond. And it doesn't have the Williams with the scroll above it like these. So this logo would be 59 and later. So this one's got to be earlier than 59 because it has that diamond on there. But it doesn't say Super Wrench anywhere. And it doesn't say Duo Hex on it. So... Not sure, but it does say just USA. So I think this is uh, going to be anywhere from 1940 to that 1959. Uh, the oval shank was introduced in around 1940, so somewhere in between there. But still a little kind of a mystery because it doesn't say that duo hex on there or super wrench at all. So anyway, I'm rambling. All right, let's get up here. We have some weird Stanley stuff. Kind of stamped money, I don't know. Really crude looking ranches here. But they're USA. And there was almost all of them, so I snagged up the set. Missing the 9 sixteenths and this uh, 5 sixteenths is of a different style. But in pretty nice shape. It has been used. But probably Taiwan, because there's no USA on there. But whatever, I snagged them up. They look shiny, so I grabbed them. But 
I think these two wrenches are worth what I paid for all of this, so we got ourselves a snap-on GOEX 120, and that's the industrial finish. They're usually black. This one looks like it's been worn down because it's been around for a while. A little bit of something on there, but the uh, date code on there, that's not a 6. It is upside down. It is a 9 for 1969. So we got ourselves a 1969 3 ace. doesn't look like it's been used too much. A little bit of surface rust starting on it, but a really good wrench. So I'd say definitely, you know, if we round up to 30 bucks, I'd say this wrench is definitely worth that. Worth that, And I think this wrench probably isn't worth that because it's damaged, but if it wasn't, it would be. But this is my favorite wrench of this lot. So, you know, I like the Milwaukee Tool and Forge stuff. So we got ourselves an old 1920s Tappet wrench. It's uh, seen some work. It's not, you know, it's not in the greatest shape. I'm not going to lie to you. You can see it with your own eyes. But uh, I had to snag that up. Look at that sucker. Awesome. Pretty nice addition to add to my Milwaukee Tool and Forge set. But I don't know. What do you think? $28. got that sweet Napa New Britain toolbox in decent shape. It's going to polish up really nicely. It's going to take some elbow grease. But definitely, I think that box is worth 30 bucks alone once it's cleaned up for sure so what was your favorite tool again i like them all that's why i do this so like subscribe have a good one